Alright guys, I'm going to uh, show you a little bit about a Kenmore model of 385.1254180. This is a little bit newer than what we normally offer. I don't like to get into the newer um, plastic machines, but this machine I found in its original box, packed in its original styrofoam with accessories and manual. Um, it's very clean. It saw little to no use at all. Um, there was no lint inside. It was very, very clean. Maybe used once or twice and put away. Um, so I, we are going to offer it. Um, it's an eight stitch machine. It has both regular and stretch stitches and it has an automatic buttonholer. Um, it's a convertible machine which is definitely a plus. Um, if you've done any amount of sewing, you know that a convertible machine is very handy and you do need the free arm, whether you realize you do or not. And if you've not done any sewing, let me tell you that you will need a free arm. Um, it's nice for pants legs, shirt sleeves, or small things that you just need to get to that the flatbed doesn't allow. And this one is very easy access to the free arm. No buttons to push or anything, you just slide it off and there your free arm is accessible and it's free arm means that this has space underneath to where you can slide a shirt sleeve up on it or a pants leg or something like that it's a low shank machine and it uses just standard class 15 bobbins um, it uses standard 15 by 1 needles very easy to use um, it, it's not newer newer it's not right now new I'd say 80s. I'd have to look up the actual manufacturer date, but I'm thinking 80s. Um, it's got your reverse here. It has your stitch, ac your stretch axis is here, the yellow part on the dial. This is your stitch length. This is your stitch selector. Um, your tension is here. It is double needle capable. Um, it has a zipper foot, a buttonhole foot, a hammer foot, or I'm sorry satin stitch foot, straight stitch foot, and it includes the darning plate. And the darning plate is included because it does not have a feed dog drop. So if you want to do freehand or something in place that you don't want your fabric fed through, you have to put this on and this will ra um, raise your fabric above the feed dog so that it doesn't feed. That is crucial and it is included. All of them. There's also a lint brush, some screwdrivers, and bobbins, and a pack of needles in all different sizes. Very, very clean machine. Um, it's been gone through. It's oiled, lubed, ready to go. Um, all the plastic gears are great. Anything plastic is fine at this point. Um, and it's a smooth running machine. Start with this is a triple point zigzag. In my opinion, this is a much higher quality machine than what you're going to go buy today from the Walmart or the Joanne shelf. Um, even though it's got some plastic in it, it's still better quality than what they're making today. Um, there's no computerized parts in it. It's all mechanical. There's no nothing computerized about it, so that's a good thing. It's less to go wrong, and it's easier to fix if something does go wrong. to service at home. All the oiling instructions are in the um, manual. All you need is a, a toothbrush and some sewing machine oil. And you should be able to maintain this machine yourself without issue. Um, let's switch it to stretch. And to do that, we just go all the way around to the right and go into the yellow setting. And now you're in stretch. So we've got stretch, rip wrap, stretch straight, and then it's got like a, and you can adjust your stretch stitches. It's got short and long, so you can elongate them or, or squash them together using the S and L setting. That's what that is. 
you can actually stretch it out a little bit without messing with your stitch length, which you don't really want to do. This is a really cool one. It reminds me of Star Trek. And that is your Kenmore Model 385-1284.